Hi, today we're going to look at lattice multiplication of two digit by two digit numbers as a long multiplication strategy. The first step is knowing how many digits you are multiplying. In this case, we have two digits times two digits. That means we need to draw a lattice box that will allow us to have two digits times two digits. So as you can see, we have two digits going down and two digits going across. Next, we draw our diagonal lines. This can be a little tricky, so we recommend corner to corner to corner and out. Corner to corner and out. Corner to corner and out. It looks rather complicated, but if you're familiar with the lattice strategy, you'll do just fine. So the first thing we need to do is multiply to fill up all of these boxes. There are four separate boxes, each divided in half. Those four boxes will represent the four numbers we get when we multiply each of these numbers together. So we have 5 times 2 is 10. So we write the 1 and the 0. Next we do 6 times 2 is 12. The order of multiplication does not matter in this table as long as the number corresponding goes to the number. If you can't remember where, start with the number, go down, and then across. So we have 5 times 7 is 35. And we have 6 times 7 is 42. Now we have done all of our addition. It's time to add. The numbers that are in blue are the numbers we will add. You do not include the numbers that are on the outside of the lattice when you are adding. Each of the diagonal columns represents another column to add. Let's start here. 2 all by itself remains to be 2. We have a 2 plus 4 plus 5 more is 11. So we write 1 and we take our other one over to the other column and add it in. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 0 is still 2 plus 3 more is 5. And this one is all by itself so it stays out there all by itself. And the answer 1,512. Let's try another one so you can have some more practice. Let's do 51 times 36. Remember, the first step is to draw a lattice. This lattice needs to be two squares by two squares because we have two digits times two digits. Next, we draw the diagonal lines corner to corner, corner to corner, and corner to corner. We're ready to multiply. I'm going to multiply it in a different order this time, but again, remember it doesn't matter as long as you're lining everything up. 1 times 3 is 3. Because it's a one digit number, we need to put a 0 in front of it so that we don't accidentally put a number in there, and we also don't want to put the 3 in that column because then we're saying that 3 times 1 is worth 30, and we know that's not true. 1 times 6 is 6. Again, put that 0 in to hold it so that it's a two-digit number. 5 times 3 is 15. And 6 times 5 is 30. All right, we're ready to add. Remember, we're adding the columns diagonally. The first column has a 6 all by itself. So that 6 stays there. 3 plus 0 plus 0 is still 3. 0 plus 5 plus 3 is 8. And 1 all by itself is 1. So our answer is 1,836. It's time for you to try one. The equation is 78 times 29. Pause the video and draw your own lattice.
All right, does your lattice have two squares times two squares? If it doesn't, it's time to fix your lattice. I missed that corner just a little bit right there. All right, diagonal lines, so I'm ready to multiply. If you're ready to multiply, pause the video, do the multiplication, and come back to check. All right, our multiplication is in place. Do you have all matching numbers? Pause your video and double check that your multiplication is correct. If you're correct, you're ready to add. If not, go back and fix your multiplication before you go on. Pause the video and do your adding and come back to check. I've done my adding. I had to carry twice to get this answer. Did you get the same answer as me? If you did, congratulations. You're ready to do this on your own. If not, keep practicing. You'll get it soon. Good luck.